well, so it's just me, my camera, and my phone scope. Welcome back to Idaho, ladies and gentlemen. It was eating up at me that we had to leave this mountain and this tag with a few days left. We walked out of here without a buck, so the plan originally was to go home, rest up, and prepare for North Dakota whitetail hunt, which, don't get me wrong, I'm excited about that hunt as well. We came off this mountain without getting a buck, and there's nothing wrong with that. We had a great time, hung out with Ken and Martin. We saw some shooter bucks. We saw a lot of just wildlife in general and had a great time, made a lot of memories together. But it just eats away at me when I, when I get a tag, there's still season left and I head home. So I decided I would come back and hunt the same spot that we hunted the last day. So this is gonna be about a three hour hike up starting at 4,400 feet elevation and ending at about 6,500 feet elevation. And I'm gonna go in with camp on my back, do a backpack style hunt. It's gonna be freezing cold. It's only 17 degrees right now and it's not supposed to get very much warmer than that throughout the next few days. So I'm gonna have two and a half days to get it done. We'll uh, get to the trailhead, get the backpack loaded and we'll make our journey up to camp. Let's go guys, let's, uh, let's try this. I'm solo, so it's just me, my camera, and my phone scope. Time to lace up the old crispy boots. You're gonna need these. There's a new skiff of snow out here. Wasn't here last week, and uh, I know there's a, a creek or two that I'm gonna have to cross too, so I've been wearing these high top crispy boots for the last few hunts. All leather and Gore-Tex. These ones are actually the uninsulated model, but solid boot for sure. It is now 10.30 a.m. I just got the backpack fully strapped down, loaded. I'll be carrying my bino harness i got some gloves and uh this is my setup pretty ridiculous but you guys know me i do not pack light i pack for warmth and comfort especially on a hunt like this so big old sleeping bag had to be tied down external the weather be 3378 had to be tied down external of course i have a tripod a spotting scope everything is in the backpack and ready to go i'll show you more when i get to camp this is gonna suck, I'm not gonna lie. I'm guessing it's gonna take me three hours to get there. It's just right now at 10.30, so let's see how long it takes. Well, I'm just now leaving the ease of the horse trail. Coming down this foot trail that we went on last time. And what do you know? <laughs> Nobody's been on it at all. We've got a fresh skiff of snow from last night, which will really help. Um, really help show fresh tracks and also the deer are much easier to glass in this so this will be helpful we're gonna go down this trail right here cross that creek up that and up to that that's not even close to the top either Well, here's the first deer tracks that are actually fresh in the snow. Look like they were hanging out up here. Maybe bedded right there. Somewhere down in these draws. Gaining some elevation, guys. This country is awesome. My exposure is off. There we go. Big, big country. At this point, last time when we hiked up, it took us two hours flat. And uh, keep in mind, we were in the dark. And 
<clears throat> we've never been up here and we were worn out for two days straight. So at this point I'm an hour and 38 minutes, 2.21 miles, and I spent about 10 minutes talking to another hunter. His name was Kevin, super nice guy. He's hunting deer up here too. Uh, pretty cool talking to him. It's always fun to meet people up here and swap stories for a minute. And uh, he's got a YouTube channel, makes a ton of videos, so excited to go home and watch more of those. But anyways, still going. Probably another 30 minutes to camp. This is freaking awesome. So worth it. Just need to get up there. Finally got a look at the herd of elk that's in front of me walking this ridge. Big old herd with a bunch of cows. And the bullets with them is really pretty six point with ivory tips. It's a bullet my buddy Ken said he'd love to shoot on his hunt, which starts in just a few days. So if I get up there, I'm trying to stay on the backside so I don't spook him, but if I can get up there and get a good angle on him, get some phone scope footage for you guys. That's one thing that is gonna be fun about this hunt, just seeing all the different games. So still climbing. Here it is, guys. My point that I want to glass off of and camp off of. Those elk are still over there, but check this out. This is where we spent the last day glassing last time we were here. Look at this country. Time to take this thing apart. Let me show you guys what I got going on here. I had a tie on the backpack. Got the rifle. And then all the good stuff is inside. There we go. Rain gear, puffy coat, puffy coat, water, scope. I got my tent. I got the tent here. Food, clothing, mattress, pillow. Everything you need for a good time and a good hunt. So I'm gonna put the tent up. We have camp. It's all set up. I'm gonna get my air mattress and everything else out and get uh, get the bedding ready, maybe collect some firewood and just kind of post up right here in glass. Pillow and mattress. Here's camp. It's small, but it'll work. Time to glass. I'm gonna work over here for a minute. Glass some of the snowy stuff. Well, it's 2 p.m. now. I'm gonna start mowing down some of this country. I can see looking for either bedded deer or some deer just cruising. It'd be nice to see something. I haven't seen a deer yet. I haven't really tried much, but I haven't seen any tracks hardly except for those ones down low. But I think if we work hard and pick some of this stuff apart, we ought to be able to find something. Well, I just glassed my first buck. He's just out feeding. I'm just gonna grab my phone scope adapter. Get some footage of him, but he's way over there across the canyon, but in a killable spot. Don't think he's a shooter. I just took a quick look and I just didn't see I didn't see a whole lot going on, but I'm going to try to get some video and get a closer look. He's just out there on this steep 
little tiny south face feeding. That's good, deer moving. Some of the deer moving, so that's good. We got it. Right here on the phone scope. He's out there, man. It's a long ways away. We got some bad heat waves too. Just glassed a small herd of deer with one buck. One, two, three, four, five, six deer, one buck. Not a not a real big buck, but borderline shooter. It'd be nice, he's on the way back to where I would eventually have to leave, which is the truck. But uh, he's acting all kinds of rut, ruddy. Sniffing, chasing does. Nice little four point. I'm gonna take a pass on him. He was with those five does. Um, and then there was one down to the left. He went and checked on her. And then he just bailed out. So seems like the bucks might be cruising some of them. Should be some more deer movement coming soon. Could, be, could get really, really good. Just gotta find that one, right? <laughs> Two more. Both bucks, but they're uh, both little guys. Still hanging out together. Trying to stay safe from the big bucks. That's good, we're just seeing deer. There's not a ton of them and they're they're all hard to pick out as far as way as they are. But we're seeing deer, so I think it's just a matter of time before we see a big one. Oh, it is fire time. That's that pyro putty fire starter there. It's 5.30 p.m. now. Just getting this fire started. So I don't have to do it in the dark. I can't believe how, how uh, dark, how early it's getting dark nowadays. Nothing new. Bunch more cow elk, but no new bucks. It's crazy, man, when you can see this much, con this much country. I would think you'd see more deer, but like last week, there's just not a ton of deer up here, so. All we can do is keep glassing, but I'm going to get this fire going. That way I can cook my dinner tonight and maybe sit by it for as long as possible. <laughs> that way I don't have to sleep through the night. These are long, cold nights, and the longer I can stay up next to the fire, the better. watching just came right below me had the fire blazing and they probably were I don't know, 200 yards they got a little nervous they're still standing there but they're just gonna cruise over and actually they're headed right towards the other elk that I saw this morning lots of elk only the one bull so far though I'm gonna get me some water going for some hot chocolate that warm me up. Look at that, it just freezes. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. Half of that water is now a slushy. What the heck? Am I gonna die tonight? Oh my gosh, it's maybe a bad idea. It is so cold. That's, I have a slushy. I just poured out water. Wasn't frozen in there. Oh my gosh, go throw this on the fire and make some hot chocolate. Whew, holy smokes, that is crazy. Look at the views up here though, guys. It is so gorgeous. It's going to be a cold night, but it'll be worth it. We're still glassing for bucks. Ooh, yeah. I didn't see any bigger bucks today still looking but uh it's just crazy man like the deer kind of pre-rut the big bucks are strolling they're somewhat migrating out of the high country just to get down to where they want to rut and start to head towards where they want to winter but 
last week when we were here the two biggest bucks were just solo and they were cruising last light probably not gonna be making any moves or firing any shots now but good day I don't know if it was because I was more focused and more relaxed and less cold but earlier like the late afternoon was really good so when I saw most of the deer nothing new other than some does I did find some does that were bedded across that way and a doe and two fawns that way so saw some game got to camp now the goal is to make it through the night Hopefully it's not so bad that I want to just go go home tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. This might really, really suck sleeping up here tonight. I've got basically everything I have on. Puffy pants, two puffy jackets. I have a beanie. But uh, for now we're just going to boil some water and make a spaghetti mountain house with meat sauce. Looks like the water is boiling. This is my setup, so I get the gloves on and make a dinner, but man, this is uh, it's cool to be up here right now. It's going to be really cool, as in freezing cold in a bit. this up and let it sit for a bit okay it's been about oh 10 minutes let's see what we got here got my uh, hand carved spoon oh man that leg is burning holy smokes hot look at that goodness Spaghetti is my favorite one. Spaghetti with meat sauce, of course. That one right there is what you want. I'm gonna keep this thing going all night. I heard, like I said, as long as I can. Just enjoy the evening. I hope you guys are staying warm. Hopefully you guys are having a good hunting season. Let me know in the comment section how your season's going and if you still have tags and if you do, what are they for? I still have North Dakota whitetail and also Arizona coos deer. So a couple more hunts to go still. Oh no, did my pillow just get popped? Oh man, the seam. <laughs> I was laying here on my pillow using it and uh, Apparently, it got too hot to the fire, too close to the fire. But I'm just sitting here by the fire by myself, thinking, looking at the stars up here. I'm like, dang, this is kind of crazy being up here alone. I mean, I've done it plenty of times, and I actually really like to solo hunt. I think it's really good for myself to get one like really legit solo hunting per year, just come up here, do my thing, and uh you know work hard try hard and be alone for a minute i like hunting with everybody friends uh family and all that but man coming up here by yourself is special i think and i think everyone should do it safely and uh try it at least once but uh the stars are awesome up here oh no i am just wrecking all my clothes and i'm not even that <laughs> The problem is I can't feel it. Dang it. Ruining everything. All right, guys. Well, that's day one from the solo Idaho mule deer trip. More action coming tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back at it 
looking for a big buck again just trying to find myself a nice mature buck nothing crazy big i will shoot a crazy big one if i see it but just a nice mature buck so anyways thanks for watching the video i've got some issues here i want you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already really appreciate that hope you guys are having a good night like i said we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video